Hi, I'm Nancy. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm making crispy fried butterfly prawns with sweet and sour sauce. And this is a subscriber request. So let's review the ingredients. Here I have some jumbo sized prawns, sliced a green onion, toasted sesame seeds, and this will be used as a garnish. For the batter, I have all purpose flour, baking powder, seasoning salt mix, white pepper, and for the other seasonings, there's Shaoxing wine, sesame oil, rice vinegar, ketchup, white pepper, sugar, seasoning salt mix, and water. And for the prep, let's start off with marinating the prawns. And these have already been shelled and deveined and butterflied with a tail on. So we'll add a little bit of the seasoning salt here. Some white pepper. Sesame oil and the shaoxing wine. Give this a good mix. And the shrimp is usually sold by size and count. These are considered uh, jumbo prawns, 1620, meaning there are 16 to 20 shrimp per pound. Medium sized shrimp are usually around 3640, meaning there are 36 to 40 shrimp per pound. So the higher number count, the smaller the shrimp. The lower number of count, the larger the shrimp. Okay, so this is done. Set this aside and let it marinate for about 10 minutes. And next, we can mix up the batter. So we'll combine all these ingredients into one bowl. Add water. And we're going to add enough water to thin it out like close to pancake batter. And you can see that the batter is bubbling up. The baking powder is taking effect. And it's okay if there's little clumps. I think this looks good. Set this aside and let it sit for about 5-10 uh, minutes. Most of the prep is done. Next, let's make the sweet and sour sauce. Turn the heat up to medium. Let's add water. Sugar. and the rice vinegar. The general rule of thumb for making a sweet and sour sauce is uh, equal portions of water, vinegar, and sugar. But I like uh, my sauce to be a little more tangier, so I have additional vinegar. But make sure to adjust the sauce to your liking. If you like it a little sweeter, add a little more sugar or reduce the vinegar amount. And then we'll also add some ketchup. You can turn up the heat to medium high. Let's mix this up. Make sure the sugar is dissolved. And let the mixture come up to a boil. And while you're making the sweet and sour sauce, also put on your pot of oil to heat up for frying. And this sauce is going to yield about one cup. And that's going to be more than enough for uh, this dish. Anything extra, you can put it into a container and set it in the fridge. This will keep for about a, a week. So once this comes up to a boil, turn the heat down to medium and let this uh, simmer away for about five to eight minutes until the liquid has reduced and the sugar will naturally caramelize the sauce and thicken it up. This has been simmering away for about nine minutes, so now let's turn the heat off. 
give it another quick whisk. That looks really good. And you can see that the sauce has reduced by one half. And making sweet and sour sauce this way doesn't require thickening with the cornstarch slurry. The natural caramelization of the sugar will thicken the sauce on its own. And it has a nice sheen. And the sauce may look a little bit thin, but set this aside and it'll thicken up a little more. Okay, now let's uh, fry up the prawns. The oil temperature should be set at around 350 to 375. And the way I test if the oil is ready is to put a chopstick in, and if it starts bubbling up, it's ready to be used. So I have the batter here. Now I'm gonna dip each prawn into the batter. And fry it up. And you don't want to overcrowd the oil. I'm going to cook this into two batches. Side here, I have a uh, tray with a rack on top of it. And this is going to fry up super light and crispy. And we're going to fry it for about two to three minutes until it's golden brown. And you can flip it around a little bit for even cooking. And this looks good. Let's Remove it, set it on the rack. And putting on a rack allows air to circulate around it so the batter won't get soggy. Now we'll fry the rest of the prawns. for frying. And we'll let this cook for two to three minutes also. Okay, this looks good. Let's remove this from the pan. We'll turn off the heat. And here's the fried prawns. They're all nicely cooked with the Eden golden brown color. So let's uh, serve this. Okay, let's uh, plate this up. Oh, looks good. It smells wonderful too. And you can see that it has a nice crunchy batter. Sprinkle it with some of the toasted sesame seeds and the onions to give it some contrast here. And we'll serve it with the sweet and sour sauce on the side. And here we have an amazing plate of crispy fried butterfly prawns with sweet and sour sauce. This is a very popular seafood appetizer served at many Chinese restaurants. The prawns are super crispy and light and is served with the classic sweet and sour sauce. 
Yes. Now let's cut into one and then you can see the inside. You can hear the crunch. And you can see that the prawn is cooked perfectly. I'm going to give it a try. And the sauce is light enough to just cover the batter. Mmm. That's just super light and crispy. Enjoy! Okay, let's see if Shadow likes it. Ooh, yummy. She loves fried prawns. Thank you for watching, everyone. Until next time, eat well and be healthy. Share your pics on my Facebook page. Good girl.